The fourth and final financial statement we're going to talk about is the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows only lists cash, only lists cash inflows and cash outflows off the company. So keep in mind that this one only lists cash. Since it only talks about cash, we prepare this using different information. At this point in your course, it's a little too complicated to talk about this, how to prepare the statement, but I do want you to know what's in there and I want you to know um, the format of the statement. We're going to come back to cash flows at the very end of our semester and then we will learn how to prepare a statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flows is prepared for a period of time just like the income statement and the statement of retained earnings and it is divided into three sections. This is the order in which it's listed. First we list operating activities. These relate to day-to-day -day activities of the business so whatever they are operating day-to-day -day operations are those activities are listed in this section. The next section is investing activities. This relates to company investing in assets. So company investing in long-term assets like furniture, equipment, buildings, land, those would be all in investing activities. Finally, we have financing activities. Financing activities is where company either raises funds, pays back loans, anything to do with um, receiving financing would be in this section. Again, that's all I require you to know the f and then we're going to talk about the format in a little bit. Just like all the other financial statements, we start with the header information. So you're going to have the name of the company, the name of the statement, which is the statement of cash flows, and then the date and it's for the month ended August 31st. Then we're going to have cash flows from operating activities that is going to be listed as the first section. I'm going to put X's for the numbers because we're not going to learn how to prepare this um, in detail because it's a it's a little bit of a complex statement. The next section to be listed would be cash flows from investing activities. Remember this is only deals with cash flows. Finally, we will have cash flows from financing activities. Then we're going to add those three numbers and come up with our net increase or decrease in cash. To that, we add our cash balance at the beginning of the period. We find that in our balance sheet at the beginning of the period, and we will talk about that later during the semester. Once we get that number down, we add those two numbers together and we end up with the cash balance at the end of the period. Again, I just want you to see the format of this statement. You do not, you do not need to worry about how to prepare the statement just yet. The final thing that I want to mention here is that there is a third relationship between the financial statements. The final ending cash balance here it's the same as the cash in the balance sheet that's listed in the assets section.